today I'm going to show you the MyPod. It's made by Little Guy, uh, 630 pounds. Uh, a lot of people that have a smart car, if you have a, a, a trike, a motorcycle, that it's a three wheel, if you have a, a, a little Prius, uh, this might be an option for you. At 630 pounds, almost anything can tow it. So let me show you around a little bit. Uh, we're at the front of the MyPod. I love the graphics on the front. Uh, you can get the paint color to match any vehicle. We have lots of colors here. We have a black, silver. Uh, this is the dark metallic red. We have a bright red. Uh, but again, you can customize it to match anything. This shell is fiberglass, uh, which gives it its lightweight. That's one of the best pieces about it. Is uh, It's a one solid piece. Uh, the front of the tongue of this is aluminum plate across the front, the triangle. This has your battery on it. Now this unit doesn't have any propane like a standard trailer. It is all 12 volt. Uh, so you do have a ZAMP plug-in right here for your ZAMP solar panel. If you want to do a portable solar panel, we can show you that in one of our slides at the end of the video. All of the MyPods will have that hookup so you can simply open up a panel, plug it in, and it's charging your battery while you're camping. Let's look at the tongue of this. It has a standard crank up tongue. You've also got a seven way plug on it. And this allows you to have a charging line for the battery when you're driving. So as you drive, the battery in your car is actually charging the battery on your MyPod as well. Let's walk around this side of it. This will be your standard uh, 30 amp plug so you can plug in at a campsite or of course you can use an adapter and plug in at your house and it's got a little lock feature on it. Uh, up here is your, uh, it has a stereo in it so this is your uh, antenna for the stereo. Uh, it has windows on both sides. Let's move around to the back. This is your porch light, a little LED porch light. Uh, you've also got LED tail lights on the back of it. Let's open it up, give you a peek inside. You notice this rear window on the door opens up so you can get air coming through there. We'll look at the inside in just a minute. You notice the height on this? It is about five and a half feet tall. Can fit in a garage pretty easily. Most garages have a seven foot door, so this could just roll in a corner of your garage be out of the way and be ready whenever you're ready to travel. Let's look at the other side. This side of it is just open with a window on the other side. You notice the fenders are all molded in. It's all one piece. I love, like I said, this little MyPod logo. Aluminum wheels. It has 13 inch tires. You notice the vent on the top. That's going to be a power vent that opens up so you can circulate air inside. Now that we've walked around the outside, seen a little bit of it, let's take a look at the inside. Okay, this is the inside. It's not very big, but it has everything that you would need for a nice little sleeping space. Uh, the one thing to realize here, I'm sitting on top of the double mattress. I am five feet tall. So I've got a little extra headroom. If you're a really tall person, you're gonna to have to do a little ducking, a little crawling in. Uh, the mattress itself is 76 inches long. It's gonna be 54 inches wide once you open it up. It is made so that you can flip it over like this, keep gear on one side and have the mattress on the other. And of course, when you unload gear, you can flip it over and have a full mattress on the floor. Again, the mattress, a uh, big question that we get a lot, it's 54 inches by 76 inches uh, when it's fully unfolded. Let's look at the front here and see what we've got. You've got storage cabinets on both sides, and it does go all the way through in the back. So you can see I can reach my hand in here. You've got a, a fair amount of storage space right here in the front. Their birch cabinetry is just beautiful. Of course, they carpet the ceiling. Over here, you've got speakers on both sides for your TV and your stereo. That is the Jensen stereo. It's gonna have a, a, a plug-in, a DVD, CD player, and the stereo all together in one. 
On this side, you've got your breakers and fuses right here. This is also your converter, which is going to convert your uh, uh, 12 volt, your 110 into 12 volt as it comes in the camper. So the 12 volt will run your television, your stereo, and your fan, and your lights. All of your lights, of course, are 12 volt, and they're LED. All the lights on these my pods are LED. Uh, now the one thing that is not 12 volt is of course going to be your air conditioner. To make the air conditioner run right here, you're going to have to plug in and use that 30 amp cord. If you do not plug in with that 30 amp cord, everything on this unit will work, including the television, except the AC. So that's a, a good point to know. As long as you don't need air conditioning, you can camp anywhere and have all the features working in this trailer. Uh, underneath your stereo you've got the charging station and this has USBs on one side and a 12 volt plug in on the other. The 110 plug is on the other side of that. Again, if you're plugged in with your 30 amp cord, you could plug in something and run off the 110 from the house or from the campsite plug in. And of course the corresponding stereo speaker on the other side. Pretty simple. This is going to be a Jensen 12 volt television. Uh, hooked up in here the power fan at the top now this power fan is wonderful because it was going to create a breeze remember the window in the back door opens up so you can pull air in from the back door pull it out through here and create a nice little airflow on the inside this is also reversible so you could pull air in from the outside as well if it was really cool outside and you wanted that air to come directly down on you on the mattress, you could do that and blow inside instead of out. Nice feature, it has three speeds and it has a little lock on it so it won't open up when you're traveling. And then let's take a quick peek at the windows. The other thing I want you to see, it, it's kind of unique. Uh, they've got this striped pattern so that you can actually see out, but if you want to close it off, the panel just simply moves over and the stripes overlap. If you want to open it, you open it that way and you've got half of the window. So it's a real simple way to not only let light in but have a way to black out as well. See how that works? Very simple mechanism that gives you a real clean look. No fabric, no strings, no pulleys, none of that to deal with. Now what you can't see is you've got the porch light and the ceiling light switches on the very back, a fire extinguisher, and the uh, smoke alarm. The, it's probably, a, is that a CO detector or a smoke alarm? I can't tell. So those are the safety features on the back. Uh, and that's the MyPod. It's a very simple trailer but it gives you a very comfortable place to sleep. Again, in case you missed it, 630 pounds. And you can customize the color on the outside. If you have questions about this or would like to get more information on it, give us a call here at Princess Craft and we'll be glad to help you. Thanks for watching.